doing this little clip for Jesus. Because Jesus wants you to know that many of you are stuck in unforgiveness. And the only way to have eternal life is to let it go. Jesus said, if you don't forgive, your Father won't forgive you. Mark eleven twenty five and 26. When you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, let it go. Let it go. Let Jesus teach you how to forgive. You can't forgive without him because when you forgive with him, when you decide he heals you, he's going to heal you of that pain that you're enduring that causes you to hold a grudge, to even want revenge. And when you live that way, you're really handing your life over to the enemy. And you may not even know it. You may still go to church and read your Bible. You may still think you're saved. But that bitterness on the inside of you that the enemy tries to hide even from you will take you into hell where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Get rid of the bitterness. Get on your knees and say, Jesus, help me to forgive. Show me if I still have ought against someone. I want to know now, not when it's too late. You don't want to stand before Jesus and him say, away from me, you who practice lawlessness. His law is to love. And when you don't forgive, you're not loving. You're hating. And as I said, many times you don't recognize it, and so you got to go to him and say, Jesus. And then he's going to heal you, and he's going to show you what happened. And he's going to take that pain away so that you can love, so you can be a living example of him. Didn't he say that, Father? Forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And he's going to show you that person didn't know what they were doing. And he's going to show you how the enemy is involved and how he is just tripping people up all the time with pain, with pain, offense. He, he tries to get you to life, live your life so it's all about you. So every little thing that comes against you, you get angry, you get bitter, you get upset. And you, and you end up having revenge for someone. And he can take you to hell just with that. Because love, God's law is love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. means care about what he cares about. And he cares about that person you're holding a grudge against. He does. So much so that you need to love that person no matter what they did to you. And when you're deciding to do that, then he will heal you. And you won't have that grudge feeling on the inside anymore. Be able to just love them. Anyway, no matter what, because you got healed. Because Jesus showed you. It's okay. It's okay. And if anybody should have held a grudge, it was Jesus, but he didn't. Now's the time of grace. Now's the time to get it right. Because on that day, when you stand before Jesus, if you didn't get it right now, it'll be too late. He'll say, I didn't know you. Not everyone who calls me Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father. The will of his Father, he said, forgive. Okay, I'll forgive. Seven times, seven times a day? Okay, but I need help. It's, it should be a lifestyle to forgive. Just make it a lifestyle. He's so excited to tell you the truth. Now get excited to learn of him. Get excited. He said, get excited when I correct you, because what I'm doing is helping you so that you can have eternal life, so you can live with him. Do you think in heaven there's unforgiveness? No way. There's no way. His law is love. And if we don't love, we're not going to fit in there with him. And so that's just the word I have for you today from Jesus. Can I pray with you? Let me pray with you. Jesus, help us to forgive. Help us to submit to you. We just come before you and ask for help and for healing and understanding so we can forgive that person that hurt us. And we resist the enemy who is trying to get us to live by how we feel. We just submit to you. We submit to you. And your, your word says when we submit to you, he will flee. We love them. We're going to love them because you said so. 
And we're going to have understanding because you said you would give it to us. We praise you. We thank you ahead of time for healing us and showing us your truth, preparing us for eternal life. We give you all the praise and all the glory in your name. Jesus is saying he has a word. He's saying, come to me. Don't be weary and heavy laden. Come to me and I will give you rest. I will ease your soul. I will heal you. I am the good shepherd. I have come. Now you may have life. Have it to the full until it overflows. Don't ignore me. I have everything you need. I have everything you need. I laid down my life for you. And now I'm asking you to lay down my life, your life for me. Let go of revenge. Let go of hatred, saith the Lord. Come and follow me. Let me give you love, joy, peace, contentment. I just feel his presence so strong right now. He just wants to love you so bad. Give him a chance. Go to him. Get on your knees. Take time for him. Don't, don't live by how you feel. Your feelings are fickle. They will lie to you. Live by the truth. Eternal life happens when you love. Well, I did not know that was going to happen. He is so good. I'm so in love with him. And when you get to know him, if you don't know him, you're going to love him too. Thanks so much for listening today. God bless you.